So in order to measure how much trim I need for one of my overskirt pieces, I'm just sort of laying the measuring tape out a few inches from the edge because the trim is about four inches wide. And I'm measuring from like an inch down from the top of the piece of trim. And I'm measuring out um, at an angle from the point because I know that the point of the trim is the corner of the trim is end up gonna end up being mitered. So it'll be longer out here than it will at the point where it meets the, the fashion fabric. Um, so I need about 35 and a half inches of trim. And then I have to multiply that by 2.3, which I determined is how many more times long the piece of trim needs to be before I pleat it. So I measured it on this side, and on this side I'm going to need 80, an 84 inch strip. And then on this side, I did the same thing. This one curves a little bit. So I measured this one out to about 34 inches, which means I'm going to need about 77 inch long strip in order to pleat it to the right size. Okay, so I have my two pieces of trim here. I have hemmed the sides of both of them, and then I pleated it on my pleating board, and I basted the pleats down after I did that just to keep them in place. So now what I have to do is figure out um, where the seam needs to go at the point here. I want to make the pleats come to a point just like my fashion fabric here does. So what I'm going to do is lay the pleats out on the fabric where I'm eventually going to stitch it down. And I want to make the pleats meet at their points here in a way that mimics the point of the fashion fabric. So, let me see, this is going to take some finagling. And it's going to, I'm probably going to have to overlap them pretty deeply because this point is very sharp. So I want the points to meet about there. So what I'm going to do is put pins, oops, that pin is really bent. I'm going to put pins here where the seam is going to start. So where these two bits of trim should start to meet, I'm going to put pins there. Making sure I got the positioning right. Okay, so now that I know where the pleats are going to start to meet here, I am going to put them right sides together. So my pins are going to match. It's hard to move the pleats against each other because the pleats catch on each other. Okay. So now that they're right sides together, I'm going to pin in a diagonal line from where I want them to start to meet to the corners. Oh, long pins. Here we go.
Okay, so this is approximately the line, the seam that I want to sew, going from uh, where I want the point to meet to the edge of the pleat. So I'm going to go stitch this now. Okay, so I have stitched a diagonal line from one edge of the pleats to the corner. So now what I'm going to do is open it up. This is the part where we hope it worked. So this is going to be the back. Here is the top. I'm just going to line this up on my piece of fabric to make sure that the angle is okay. Yep, okay, that looks pretty good. So obviously I'm going to have to trim off some of this so that it's not visible. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is go press this and then I can sew it on to my bit of fabric. All right, so here is my finished um, bit of overskirt with the trim sewn on. You can see I haven't taken the basting stitches out yet, but I have sewn it to the, the bit of blue fabric. Um, this is actually one of at least three overskirt pieces that kind of gets layered. This one goes first. This one is going to kind of go over like this. And, um, yep, so I have at least one more to sew. And then I can start um, putting the overskirt together. And it's going to involve draping in the back. And I haven't exactly decided what the back pleats and trim is going to look like yet. Um, but, yep, that's it for now. Stay tuned for the rest of the dress.